If you're seeing this video, stop scrolling. Now, the voice that you heard coming off that megaphone belongs to a man named Travis Najdi. Now, we cannot talk about any protests that took place for Breonna Taylor without talking about Travis. And a year ago today, I had the honor of seeing him in action and being inspired by his energy and just his presence as a whole. Travis Najdi is a 21-year-old man. He was from Louisville, Kentucky, and like I said, you can't talk about the protests for Brianna without talking about Travis. Like, he was at the forefront of those protests. Anyone that has protested in Louisville definitely has heard his voice echoing from the megaphones, like, saying his mama mama can't you see, uh, you can't stop the revolution. So many amazing chants. Like, I was literally in the hotel room, like, writing down the chants from my memory to bring back to Grand Rapids. Like, we were stunned. Now, when I mentioned previously, what I mentioned previously, when I said that people are losing their freedoms and losing their lives while protesting for Brianna because they could not arrest these three officers, the first person that comes in mind is Travis Najdi, amongst many others that lost their lives because this racist ass country could not give a black woman justice like she deserved. Travis had passed away two months after I had first met him in person and they said that he he was murdered in a carjacking but the last thing that he had said on Facebook was something about the police department Louisville Metro Police Department and the fact that they had shot people they had shot like two people that night Travis put out a call to action and people fucking listened not only that, Louisville Metro Police, uh, Police Department, they had a history of pedophilia in their Explorer program, and Travis is one of the people who brought that to light. I hope you see wh where I'm going here. And not only do we have the death of Travis Najdi, we have the death of David McAtee, we have the death of Tyler Gurr, and we have the death of Chris Smith, who Chris, Chris was murdered not even two weeks after Travis died. And it makes me so fucking angry to have to say any of these names in a past tense, once again, all because they couldn't arrest three fucking officers. And if this doesn't make you angry, then there's something wrong with you. LMPD are fucking murderers.